Okay, let me set this again. Now we have code here, or we have at least variables for selecting A and B. And just like in the Pac Man video, I'm going to go into picture one, mouse down, which passes us different variables here. X and Y are the special ones. So I'm going to say selected A equals integer of x divided by 40 plus 1 and selected b equals integer of y divided by 40 plus 1. Call... We're just going to call the whole draw screen. See with the editor you don't... you can take shortcuts because when the actual game is being played you're not going to want to draw the whole screen every time some, one person moves um, which I know I did in the Pac-Man game and I didn't think to fix it and I finished all the videos and I'm not going back. Um, one of the people who's going through the video actually pointed out to me that he, he caught where the code was wrong when I was first doing it. I don't remember what video, but it was kind of early on. I realized that it, it was leaving little pieces behind Pac-Man as he ran around and I had tried to fix it. Um, if I remember right, the person said I wasn't drawing the tile that he had previously been on. I was only drawing where he is and where he's going. So it just was an oversight on my part, and I never ended up going back to fix it. So if you didn't figure that out from the Pac-Man video, that's how you fix it. Um, but for here in the editor, we can be sloppy, because if it's a little choppy, it's okay. There's not really stuff going on. It's an editor. So we draw the whole screen after we've picked the one we've selected, and that means that in draw tile, we need to somehow mark a tile to show that we've clicked on it. So we could say if z equals selected A and W equals selected B, which means those numbers match. Then, um, let's see here, picture one dot line, and I am going to uh, simply cut these first two coordinates right out. And there we go. Um, the way line works, I don't know if I explained it well enough in the Pac-Man, you put in your X and Y coordinates of where you want to start, your X and Y coordinates of where you want to end, which makes sense, it's a line, and then if you put two commas and a B, it will turn that into a box, where now you've actually specified the two corners of a box. Um, here, I am going to put all of this in quotes so that I can say minus one and minus one, and in the front here, I'm going to put this in quotes so that I can say plus one and plus one. That way I'm staying within the tile, um, if that makes any sense at all. If I were to, to say this entire thing in the back, if I were to leave that or say plus 40 to them so that it draws on an you know 40 pixels to the right, 40 pixels down, and that way it makes our box, when it draws the tile to the right or down of the one we've selected, it's going to cut off that line, the one side of that box because it's falling exactly where it's going to draw the next tile. So I'm just, that's where the minus ones come from. Um, in order for this to work, it's going to act because our draw color. Oh, that's weird. Didn't show up how I wanted it to. Um, let's see if I've got this done right. C minus 1 times 40. W minus 1 times 40. Oh. Get rid of the minus ones. That's right. Okay. For this half. Now it's a little bit choppy. I have auto redraw on. And I remember specifically telling you guys when I went through here, turn auto redraw on, but we don't want that. Uh, okay. So auto redraw is now turned off for picture one. Let's try this again. Oh. Well, when we run it, it's blank. The reason it's blank is because auto redraw holds your picture there. Um, let me see here. I'm just going to, just to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to make a little button here that's called Draw Screen. You've probably seen this before. When I describe it, it'll make total sense. So I hit the button and it draws it in. Now, if you ever had a program, just a minute here, anything that would freeze up on you, and when you, whenever you moved it off the, off the screen, it would streak and it would look like this. It'd be weird. It'd cut it. It's because your program is is frozen and it's not there to draw in the pieces that are missing. Whenever you slide something over something else or you slide it off the screen like that, it has to draw it again when you come back on the screen because it doesn't exist anymore. Well, the 
There's no code in our program to, to draw this. Auto redraw, when it's turned on, that is having the um, windows, or it's built right in to have code to always draw it for you. Well, we don't always want it to draw it for us, so we have to put in our own code by turning off auto redraw, um, which was here. So what we do, double click and go into paint. And this is what um, function is executed. This is the event that happens when it has to redraw a portion of the screen. We have no code in there right now, so that's why it doesn't do anything. It's just white. So I'm going to say call draw screen. So it will be much faster for us. So very quick. Um, I'm sure the video adds a bunch of lag that doesn't actually exist, but if you had tried it the first way, it was laggy when I would click. Okay, so we can select tiles. If you remember from the other video, the next stage was to be able to put tiles in. And you know what? Probably the easiest way to do that is just to make this one visible again. Just like we did with the Pac-Man video. Okay, I'm going to slide it slide this up so I can give myself a little more room. Again, I'm working with a very small screen. So for you guys, this, this whole thing that I'm doing that is taking up my whole screen is probably like this big on yours. Um, so you're going to have a lot more freedom. Um, let's see. So on picture two, under mouse down, we're going to do this. We're going to say... Um, Wait a minute. Okay. We're going to say that tile A of selected A, selected B, equals the integer of X divided by 40. What this is doing is, depending on where we've clicked, if I've clicked at a spot like 10, like I'm just talking about the X value here. The same will be true for the Y, but let's just look at the X. If I said 10, when it divides that by 40, you get a fraction, just some decimal, and then the integer there cuts off a decimal, so you end up with zero. So if I click anywhere in this area, it's going to set tile A to zero, which is what we want. Once I get a little past it, if I get to like 45 is my pixel number, when it divides it by 40, it's one and some change. The change gets cut off because of integer, so then this tile A becomes one. So that's kind of how this will work. I'm going to do the same thing for B. I really hope I'm not repeating a lot of stuff from the Pac-Man one. I can't. Re it's been a week. I don't remember what I actually explained, and I always worry that I'm just flying through stuff without explaining it, and then nobody has any idea why I did what I did. Um, and we're gonna call. You know what? We're gonna call just draw a tile, just to give you guys um, a, the correct way that we would do this. Now, because it's the editor, you could just draw the whole screen whenever you tell it to do something. But we're going to do selected A and selected B for draw tile. So we click to select the location, and I say I want it to look like clouds. And it does. Now, see, some of my sprites here, I actually purposely made them so that they have to be next to another one to look right. See, this one here, the clouds just cut right off. And it's because the one on the other side of it has the other half of the cloud. Um... Little things like that seem like they're just a lot more effort than they're worth, but when you do a handful of those and you do them in the right way, it makes it harder for people to tell where the line is, like where this box is. Um, I'm sure you've played games where you could clearly tell it was made out of tiles and you could see where they were versus a game where they meshed it together nicely. I guess a good example would be Warcraft 1 versus StarCraft. I mean, they blend the line a lot better with their artwork. Uh, so it, it, it puts you into the game more. My arm is going off, so let me save the video.